Oh man. Oh. Okay, welcome. All right, let's get into it. General Collective Oracle slash Tarot Reading. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Yes, I know, guys, I turned off the comments so that I could focus. Not that I don't love engaging with y'all, but I prefer to engage when I'm actually engaging in Q&A. So this is when I be trying to get y'all to engage, right? But doing the reading, um, sometimes I like to really just go in and not be distracted um, by the comments or especially when we have randos come in and wanting to say and do their weird shit, okay? So um, <laughs> and I'm like, I ain't got time for that. Not right now. So we'll see. Muted, bitch. Now, <laughs> let's get straight. <laughs> let's get straight into the reading. All right. He or she who wants friends must first find themselves or show themselves to be friendly. In the opposite direction, the collective that I'm channeling for has been plenty friendly. And unfortunately, they've attracted the unfriendly that expect people to go out their way to be friendly. Okay? That bedazzled energy. The collective could have had to learn how to heal and gain their self-worth and esteem. And maybe there was questioning, you know, some things here. What did I do? And why did they treat me this way? And why, you know, yeah, because you may have started, you know, when you no longer were going to be their flunky. Okay. Their flunky or their doormat. When that stops, you know, it's like, oh, you're not going to let me abuse you. You're not going to let me. Be cruel and evil and mean while I want you to kiss my ass. <laughs> You're not going to let me be indifferent while I expect you to doit on me all day. <laughs> right? Yeah, door to spirit all tied up. Yeah. See, these people, you know, collective, unfortunately, they're all tied up. They got a lot of addictions and bad habits here. Okay. And you may be on a path here with door to spirit. Yeah. So these people just got problems, you know. So it wasn't so much about you, okay? If you're the high viber, because you know who you are. I'm just going to say it that way. If you're the high viber in the story, right, then it had nothing to do with you. Okay, these people all tied up problems, mental problems, addictions, bad habits, you know what I'm saying? All tied up. Some of them could be overly religious, but still have all types of bondages and issues. That's why they mean as fuck. Okay, or why they couldn't see value in something or someone different than them. Okay? Because I know a lot of folks like that. I'm just going to say it. All right, let's rock. Lighting. What's the issue here? What was going on? The collective. They showed themselves friendly, but damn. But that. Okay? Shit was off the wall. Shit was off. Shit kept throwing them off. Hold on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad. I'm glad. Upright. All right. This is the issue, collective. If you were the high vibe tribe, the issue was these people were envious of your life, of your journey, of your path, and they wanted to knock you off of your journey. That was the issue if you're the high viber in the storyline. Okay, had nothing to do with you are not friendly enough. It had everything to do with these motherfuckers are full of envy. Okay, and didn't want to deal with that. It's 
classic though for people with envy in their heart. Okay? Some of them could have been jealous of someone who loved you. They could have known that somebody loved you with door to romance here. Or it could have been a romantic partner, unfortunately. Lord have mercy. Whew, that's a whole nother get down. But anyway, for some of you, it could have been a romantic partner that was, um, you know, full of envy. Or it could have been people surrounding the connection that knew that there was some kind of deep love there. Okay, and they were full of envy, so they wanted to fuck up the journey. Okay, had nothing to do with you were not kind, you were not friendly, you were not caring. No, bitch, people had problems. My father had problems in this bitch. I didn't want to deal with it. People that don't want to deal with themselves, they project it. Don't want to face that they're driven by envy. They hide it behind religion, spirituality, false, you know, charity, and all sorts of things. Okay. The thinking woman. Yeah. See, yin, yang, balance. Some of you guys, if you're the high viber here, you know, you could have been a very balanced person. And these people aren't. And see, the thing about it is... I heard somebody um, on YouTube made a statement. I wish I could quote it. They were like, yes, your life attracts, you know, like attracts like or something like that. But they were like, but don't forget, your life also attracts moths, bugs, and parasites. And so what I took of that is like, you know, just because you're friendly, right, and you're putting out this friendly energy, and of love and light, and you also attract people that are in that opposite energy, right? So what do they do? They get envious of that. Maybe you have an ability to balance yourself out, and people could have been envious of that, right? Like no matter what happens to you or what's thrown your way, you may have a way of connecting with source or your spirit guide some kind of way. To balance your life out, and this also makes people jealous because they want to have power and control. This is what envious people do. They want to be able to feel like, sit back and feel like that they have the power and the control to make someone's life good or bad or to make something difficult or challenging. And when they lose that power, like, oh, I didn't destroy the motherfucker. No, bitch. No, bitch. You just helped to hang yourself. <laughs> You need to destroy me, my father. Right? So, yeah. Angel of balance. Look, we got yin and yang, angel of balance. Somebody could have wanted to balance something out with somebody here since we had that romance card. And somebody was in a karmic contract. Yup, yup. Somebody went down the road. Oh, my father. My, <laughs> my father. Man, man, the man with the pinnacle here and shit, man holding coin, motherfucker. He went down the wrong path, bitch. He went, he didn't mess, he had messed up and got himself in a country contract. And these people was pissed. He was pissed. These people pissed. Who knows? Let's just get the rest of the cards while I keep talking. And that's my father. All right. Ooh. So when you collect this, if you're the high viber here, let me ask real quick. Let's play. Let me ask real quick. I'm going to ask about something here. That way we can eliminate unnecessary uh, confusion here. So hold on. <laughs> the wheel. Lighting. <sighs> This thinking woman here, in the context of this reading, the thinking woman, is this a true divine feminine energy? Benevolent energy only? High vibe spirit guide, light team please. Based on this wheel, the thinking woman, is this a divine feminine? A true divine feminine, please. Is this divine feminine, the thinking woman? 
Is this divine feminine? The thinking woman. 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 Is this divine feminine? Interesting. Is this divine feminine? The thinking woman. Is this divine feminine? The thinking woman. They're asking me to rephrase. Oh. Okay. Is this feminine energy thinking about the divine feminine? Is this a feminine energy thinking about the divine feminine? A karmic feminine thinking about divine feminine. Is this a karmic feminine thinking about a divine feminine? Light team. They said no. Okay. Is this divine feminine in the past? Is this the thinking woman divine feminine in the past? Is this divine feminine in the past? Is this divine feminine in the past? Is this divine feminine in the past? There we go. Now they're fine tuning it. Okay, yes. It's divine feminine in the past. So if you are a divine feminine here, this is something that you already um, went through, okay? You knew that there was something here to a situation in the past for you, okay? That people were envious and that people were trying to fuck up your journey, that you, you knew that it wasn't you. You saw, some of you saw and smelled these people's envy, okay? Because this is you in the past, if you're divine them, okay? Interesting. So just in case, if you're a divine feminine and you're like contemplating, like, hmm, maybe you're recollecting, like, hmm, I knew they were envious and jealous, but, you know, were they? Thinking woman. Were they? Yes, the fuck. And the answer is yes, bitch. Yes, motherfucker. Yes, the whole motherfuckers, all them motherfuckers. <laughs> yes, the fuck. Yes, 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 and yes. Oh, and for some of you, they're saying that, um, that's why I was saying rephrase, rephrase. They're saying that some of these people were trying to fuck with your head, was trying to make you jealous, kind of backfired, unfortunately. <laughs> and it was because they, because they themselves were envious and jealous, then they were trying to make you envious and jealous. And it backfired. It had nothing to do with you. You just didn't, it didn't work. It just shit just didn't work. It probably went way to the left and shit, bitch. <laughs> oh, way thousands, you know. <laughs> I was like, damn, I shouldn't even try to play that game. Um, yeah, because look it. You guys were sweethearts. I love that this is confirming the energy. Okay, this had nothing to do with you not being friendly enough. You were sweethearts to these raggedy fucks. You know what I'm saying? People that try to keep you confused or the jugglers, clown off of the circus show with secrets and shit, bitch. Secrets. <laughs> oh, you guys are sweet to these people, though. Okay. To answer your question, if you're a high vibe divine feminine here, you were sweet to these people. And I'm saying feminine because I have thinking woman divine feminine came out. Okay. Yeah, you were sweet. So it had nothing to do with you. Just because you want to let motherfuckers run over you. Just because you want to let them gaslight you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just because you want to let... No, 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 my brother. And this is anybody. This could have been the... The romantic partner, friends, family, anybody, okay, that could have been involved in some kind of way. You're like, oh, they think I'm stupid. Wake up. They've been some That's the harsh reality, bitch. <laughs> Lighting. 
divine disguise. Yeah. They're trying to confuse. There was somebody. Yeah. You guys are the guest of honor, man. Divine feminine. That's why these people done fucked up. We got raw here. We got the supernova. <laughs> Somebody could have did some kind of ritual to disguise the true energy and shit if you dealt with weirdos in the past. Ooh, make me look like I'm divine feminine. Journey. <laughs> Believe me, glamour spell, bitch. Yeah. You guys freed yourself. Clown of crossroads. So if you're the divine feminine in the past, you saw people were full of envy, no matter how much they plastered on his fake ass mouths and shit, bitch. Like, you saw it. You felt it. And some of their actions proved it. Okay? He said, fuck that. You ain't keeping me stuck, bitch. Got me misunderstood. Journey, tell me out, team. You played your hand. Gone, y'all. That's like, See, well, whoever y'all is in this motherfucker, I like this, this divine feminine energy. You probably throw everybody off all the time on purpose because you know when you're dealing with sneaky fucks, jealous, envious, controlling sneaky fucks, you're like, yeah, you, you just can fuck that. <laughs> you learned how to play your hand. <laughs> uh you learn. You got some self-worth. You know, it's like, I'm not kissing ass. I'm not doing this. You don't even know how to fucking talk to me. Fuck you. Okay? Yeah, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah, you guys kind of probably figured out you were in the fucking Twilight Zone and shit. Where's the laws and shit? The fucking Walking Dead. And people were trying to fuck with your journey out of their envy, right? So you got pissed, boom, supernova, I'm blowing up everything, bitch, boom, motherfucker, boom. <laughs> uh, a while back, I heard somebody come up on one of my lives, and I didn't catch it till later, much, much later. But I was like, oh, shit, they had said something. But um, like that old school 70s movie with Sissy's basic carry. And at first I was like, huh? But then I get it. You know what I'm saying? Not all of the weirdy shit, but her power. Okay, that's what I'm really talking about. I'm not talking about the weirdy, you know, her and the mama and, the, and not that shit. But how them motherfuckers fucked up. They fucked up. <laughs> ah, the bullies fucked up. Right? And all she had to do was look at their whole ass. Like, motherfucker, you gone now. You're done, bitch. Okay? Yeah, supernova. So you guys probably, you know, went through like um, Dark Knight of the Soul, like that Jean Grey, X-Men, Apocalypse energy where, you know, Charles Xavier was like, Jean, release your powers. Because he was getting his ass kicked and shit, bitch. You know, <laughs> he was in the basket and she was the only one out of the mutants that was going to have the power to shatter that motherfucker down. Right? And the way she did it, it wasn't with what people thought. It was her mouth. She spent, she faced, she faced a big old meanie devil dude. Right? Whoa. In game. In the scene. Okay? Freeze frying, bitch. So she was <laughs> She faced it, right? The mean, evil man dude, right? And he was all huffy and puffy as bullies are, okay? As they are. And so, you know, she just walked. Ooh, and then finally, she just, what, opened her mouth, collected. Chances are, that's something that you all did, okay? Opened your mouth. And was like, boom, bitch. Ah, you know, <laughs> like they piss you off, Andy. And just like in the movie Bedazzled, when he started standing up for himself, this wasn't wrong. 
This was him honoring himself and putting shit in balance, the people in place, because they had shit misunderstood in life. He even looked and sound different. He wasn't this squirmy, mousy dude, you know, trying to get some motherfuckers to like him. He was like, say something dumb, bitch. Say something dumb. Okay? No, bitch. No, I don't have to. Like, he's this old get down. <laughs> The people that was punking him at his job and all that stuff, he checked all they no asses. Like, no, no, I don't know. I don't need you. And I don't owe you shit. You're gonna talk to me straight to me, you're gonna have a problem. <laughs> you have a problem. Envy. So you guys were plenty friendly. You just started, you know setting boundaries and calling bullshit bullshit, opening your mouth and speaking truth. And when people, yeah, especially narcs. Yeah. A little birdie. Yeah. Yeah. The hackling hands was gossiping and shit. Was trying to play with your head out of their envy. Was trying to say you were crazy. They was trying to send death to you. Death shall not take them because they were envious. <laughs> they was trying to put endings to things here. Wow. This is nuts. So it wasn't you, High Vibe Collective. It wasn't you. Okay, these were the hack on hyenas that was doing rituals and shit. Could have been working with a dark practitioner here with the birds and the motherfucker. Yeah, because you're smart. Look it. I have the steampunk priestess. So some of you are legit high priestess that ain't fucked up and distorted and twisted as fuck. And these people know it. They knew it then. They know it now. Those that are left. So they wanted to fuck with your intuition they wanted you to not be able to trust it here. And you guys picked that up. Yeah. They were envious that you had like a connection. Somebody has a connection to source really tightly or their higher self or some shit. And these people didn't like that. Yeah. Yeah. The good geisha. Princess Victorious. Yes. Like they tried to paint some of y'all to be some kind of way. But you were actually the good one in the fucking bunch of motherfuckers. Okay? But the motherfuckers tried to... Typical Cinderella story. No, Cinderella, you can't go to the party. We want to be you while you sit here and scrub the floor, bitch. We know you don't want... <laughs> Meant for you. Yeah. <laughs> they done fucked up. Yeah. You guys transformed. You followed your intuition. Nah, something wrong with these motherfuckers. Just some envy at the heart of something here. Ain't got nothing to do with me being nice. Ain't got nothing to do with me not being friendly enough. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It's some envy in this get down, in this get up. You heard me? So y'all transformed. So, oh, fuck that bitch. <laughs> He's like, I know, I check. Fuck that bitch. You got me because I'm still like, I'm going to transform and I'm going to manifest what's meant for me, motherfucker. Try to stop it if you will. Ain't going to happen. I'm Princess Victorious, motherfucker. Ooh, you're the loser. Look on her finger. Now, the collective, you guys are going like, look, shut up. <laughs> it's you. Full of envy. Bye. Trying to paint me out to be the bad guy. And I was not but kind to you, sorry, Fox. All right, well. <laughs> followed that intuition, though. Go on, Divine Feminine. In the past, you followed that intuition. Oh, the little star. My inner child is falling complete. You guys started working on your inner child. These people got inner child issues, man. 
And it could be sisters. I have the seven sisters circle sisterhood. It could be sisters that have some low self-esteem issues and need to heal their inner child bitch. Okay? You could have went on the path to start working on yours. And that triggers these people. Ooh. <laughs> and they see, look. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. all right. They knew. All I'm going to tell you, collective, look. These, these hoes, these motherfuckers. It says, beloved Zeus, lovers, this cosmic union is destined for greatness. Some of them hoes were dark witches, and they knew. So they start targeting your love life, your lovers, Divine Feminine. They started following you and stalking you long before you knew they were following you and stalking you. Okay? On social media, via themselves, their children, their friends, their associates, and whomever the fuck else they can convince to do it. To watch your movement, to watch what you are doing, to watch your lovers who was commenting on your, your pictures, who was liking, so they went to town. This is when they went to work for some of you, okay? You know it. So if this is not resonating with you, then this part isn't for you. But for some of you, you know it. With this intuition right here, that steampunk priestess, you know. It could be seven hoes, motherfuckers. Seven motherfuckers. You actually know, because you're the fucking oracle, bitch. Boom, the oracle forecast. I am the oracle. I am. My intuitive insight, sharp as fuck. They didn't fuck up. These motherfuckers. They didn't fuck up. They didn't fuck up. Ah. They didn't mess around for a bit. You know, too. You're a messenger. Because, look, you, some of you guys are teachers and shit. In your own right, Okay. Winged messenger, spiritual direction, inspires my creative flow. Oh, come talk to me, like team. Talk to a woman. First column here. Tell me. Oh, baby. First column. <laughs> so rest your pretty little heads, divine feminines. It wasn't you there. Your intuition was on tilt. It was envy at the heart of these connections that you followed your intuition and removed yourself from, no matter who these people were. They were full of envy. Yeah. And you rose because you're an awakener. Oh, good God. See, yeah. oh, honey child. They made a mistake. It says, Electra, the awakener. <laughs> rise out of the ashes. I rise like the golden sun, bitch. Boom. Now, something could be happening for someone else here. I have the lost star right behind you. The lost star. That's weird. 1450 or 1514. Synchronicity. Somebody's right behind you. Divine Feminine. Out of darkness into the light, somebody's, wow, this is getting interesting. Second column, because you're an awake, you're a fucking awakener. Oh, shit. This is dope. Boom. Because, oh, see, look. Mm. This proved what I was saying with the whole bedazzled movie and shit, and he had to learn his self-worth and stop looking outside of himself. Look what this says. It says, Taigata, the temple, home. I no longer search outside of myself. Divine Feminine, you elevated your self-worth and value and started getting some self-respect and putting boundaries in place, okay? Follow that intuition here. Yeah, you, you done messed around and co-created with the world, with the universe, boom, golden apple, bitch. My abundant mindset. The people that were stealing from you have no idea. They still don't have no clue. The sacred orchid co-create. My abundance mindset 
It doesn't say steal blessings. It doesn't say fight for endless blessings. It doesn't say compete and compare for endless blessings. It doesn't say suck and fuck for endless blessings. It says my mindset attracts <laughs> this is what people didn't get. This is why they started doing ritual work. Oh, we're going to do the spells on her shit. Well, now you just curse your own shit, bitch. <laughs> now you just fucked up yourself. Your whole get down. And generations after you. That was dumb. Second call. Amazon. Ooh, child. They didn't see. I told you some of these people should not have their shoes and not mess with you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are the Amazon. This is Wonder Woman. The Amazonian queen. Okay? Battle. The battle queen. Oh, oh I'm ready, my father. Okay? You want to be on? Okay. Whoa. I am a devoted warrior of the universe. This is why you guys were backed up. Because some of you are actually serving the collective good on a higher scale. Ain't no fuckery. Ain't just trying to compete with the next hole down the street for some, for some shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at the jade. You surrendered. Look, I am ready to let go with self-compassion, yeah. So when you guys saw that these people, this is beautiful energy, okay? Some of you may like green, okay? But this is like a very healing energy. So you turned your back. We're clarifying the second column. When you guys realize that these motherfuckers were gossiping, were full of envy here, was trying to fuck with your head. We're doing all kind of weird shit. You turned your back. You said, nah. Ain't got me fucked up. <laughs> bye. Bitches, bye. Because I know how to co-create with the universe. You can still call. I still hold the key. This is what you will remember. I still hold the key. It's still going to be with me forever. I hold the golden apple. Yours is rotten and cursed. The gypsy's cursed. <laughs> Last call. <I'm laughs> oh, they up. Yes, look it. So you guys, this is what y'all did. Y'all ain't for real. So we'll, the triple star red. Oh, my father. It says here, align. I connect. See, this is the part everybody kept missing. Thought you was weird and doing something. No, it's called surrender. It's called the journey, the path, the higher self, feeling this. Like, you surrendered and connected and aligned with your higher consciousness. You stop allowing your ego to rule you. You stop allowing the lower mind to rule you. You stop being 3D based. You start expanding. It was like, okay, I'm going to mind switch and fuck that. I don't think they can smile all they want. They can smile, they can lie. The morning star, radiance, I shoot for the stars. Radiance is my goddamn it. Yes, I'm about to cleanse this. I'm finna mic drop the tarot cards, okay? I shoot for the stars. Radiance, bitch, is my birthright. It's my birthright, and ain't none of the raggedy motherfuckers gonna take that. <laughs> and I'm saying this because we're clarifying the thinking woman and the scene punk priestess. So these people are envious of this energy. How dare she shine and follow her intuition and then we didn't approve and we don't get the benefit off of it, bitch. <laughs> the Huntress, the Palladium. Yeah, y'all sharp, man. See, this is where people fucked up. That laser focus right there is like, come here then. Come on over. Come on here. Let's see what happens. You guys are the goddess, and then y'all sit on your throne. 
right? First y'all go outside and fight and shit, woo. <laughs> then you go home and sit on your throne, right? It says, the goddess of balance, equality, Electra, I create and foster reciprocal relationships. Yes. You start realizing like, no, I can create. I don't have to, you know, suck and fuck to get some damn balance, bitch. I have to. Okay. <laughs> I ain't got to sell my soul. I don't got to cast the spell. I don't have to sell myself out and betray myself. No. I, I can by my intention and my alignment. I ain't got to compete with now of the whole. And now I'm nothing. Because <laughs> you worked on your inner child. You guys knew what you needed to do and start doing the things that some people don't want to do. They want to wear the outfit and they want the benefit, but they don't want to do it. And this is what had some of these people envious because they think it's about Googling some shit and reading the book and getting some damn gambles, bitch. Like, it's deeper than that, my part, but... All right. What do you define feminine? <laughs> You're born to shine. This is your birthright. These people wanted to interrupt that because they feel entitled to it. Classic Cinderella story. No Cinderella, but he didn't want them hoes. So you guys, you gotta stay home and do the floor and shit, bitch. While we go to the ball. <laughs> so we gotta make it hard for you. Actually, the shit that we have in here is actually because of you. But we're going to try to make it hard for you. We don't want you to have a good time. We, we want to be you, essentially. We're mad. We're mad. So because we're mad, we're going to make you wear a rag. We want you in raggedy clothes and beat up and torn down and sleeping under the freeway. and look We want you having hardships and scrubbing flows, bitch, and, and making shit motherfucker up. And then we want to go to the banquet. We want the milk and honey that's actually yours. Because he don't want our whole ass. You see. He figures this out eventually. <laughs> so Cinderella, stepsisters, and the wicked mom. Classic story. All because what? Cinderella was a sweetheart. She was humble. And she was caring. But these motherfuckers envied the fuck out of her. And they were entitled and pretentious. They tried to walk around smug and all kind of shit. Tried to put their big ass foot in her glass. <laughs> was dancing with Prince, my father. It was me at the ball. When the, when the, the clock struck, it was me. This is my shoe and shit. <laughs> Prince was like, wait a minute. Something ain't right, bitch. <laughs> wait, he woke up and started looking forward to shit. Like, oh, why is it all awkward? What the fuck? <laughs> it was me, see? Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just being funny, so don't mind me. I like to clown around, okay? Um, oh, they don't want me to do this yet. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I messed up, messed up. So now they want me to just give a little bit of tarot, and then this last uh, demo here is just for your final guidance and message, but it's already clear, okay? What do you... It was these people, okay? So we're just going to get a little bit of tarot on it, okay? Ooh, I got, ooh, child. Ooh, honey, child, let me tell you something. Okay, whoa, 
What I have at the bottom of the deck is both the emperor and the empress. So, <laughs> it could have been a whole couple that was jealous of some of you, Divine Feminine, okay? It could have been a whole, like, whole couples, like people that were couples and fucking still jealous. This is sad, 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 sad. It's like, go somewhere, bitch. Work your shit out. It's sad to me. It, that's one of my things. Like, to me, that's sad. It's like, you... You, when you grow up, it's like, go somewhere and work your, your deals, okay? You and your wife and husband or whatever, like, work it out, okay? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but others of you, this is people that was envious and jealous of a union or a connection, a cosmic connection that they knew about, that they played like they didn't. Because these were some lying holes. I can't wait till the Seven Swords come out. Can't wait, because I know it is. <laughs> can't wait. Because when you got envy at the heart of something, you can bet your bottom dollar there's going to be some distortion of truth. You can bet your bottom dollar. And I don't care if it's mixed with 60% truth. It's still off. When envy is driving force of somebody, you can bet your bottom dollar some ain't fully true in a situation. And what the heck is coming out there now? Yeah, buddy. Now I got the emperor in the world. So you guys could have ended things in the past with an emperor because there was some envious energy. Hold on. He could have been envious. Or he could have had, oh shit. I do have a Queen of Cups in the reverse that he was connected to. That was envious that he he could have wanted to come for. This is insane. Insane. So these could be like people that a, uh, an emperor could have had broke up with some people, y'all, that you didn't know nothing about divine feminine. See, this is the other shit that gets me in, in, in all of my, in my get down. Okay, because the emperor could have, separate from you, divine feminine, he could have broken up with someone, separated from someone, and divorced someone, and they blame you inadvertently. Okay, this is what this envy is. Because some of the masculines could have said some shit, but all of this stuff is unbeknownst to you. So then people start targeting you because. Maybe he, you know, he started awakening or maybe he got this or maybe he said something. Maybe shit came to an end and they know who is he in love with, who does he want to go for, divine thing. So what do they do? Commence their, their, their here come the hackling hens, the hyenas. Here it is. They start going to work, trying to fuck with your head, spell work, trying to fuck with masculine head, trying to do all kind of weird shit. Right, trying to cause issues because some this is about some people got dumped and they was pissed about it. And an emperor could have wanted to restore some kind of balance with the six of pentacles. Woo, these people are like, Lord, I ain't even want to get into that because I can only imagine. I'm gonna leave that alone, team. <laughs> I can only imagine, man. Yeah, the the yo <laughs> I saw the ten of pentacles, boy. Mm -hmm. It's always about the Benjamins. You guys could have walked away from an emperor in the past. Six of Swords, guided by your ancestors, realizing that he was more money hungry and dishonest with this Ace of Swords in the reverse. So y'all was like, nah. Okay? Nah, bitch. Right? Now, the emperor moving forward, see where how this is unfolding? Divine Feminine could have done this knowing about all this and went on her way. Then something happens to this emperor. Some lies with a fire sign here, possibly the Queen of Wands. Okay, and he was like, I'm going to drop these burdens, bitch. Judgment. <laughs> it's a burden, my father. He was like, I'm time for me to go too as well. <laughs> Divine Feminine don't know, though. But the people still equated, 
right? He could have done this on his own. First comes, funny to me though. And then they target, yeah. Look, people who, yeah. Five of Wands in the reverse, yeah. You guys figured out, like, you're not going to put me in no competition, my father. I'm, you know, people, yeah. Two of Swords. Yeah. You guys put an end to allowing things to have you confused or not seeing the truth if you're a divine feminine, okay? Like, oh, fuck that. Masculine could have, okay, he's behind the feminine. He could have did this afterward and you don't know because it's not even connected to you. This is something he did on his own perspective journey. You did it first. You walk away from masculine and all these dizzy motherfuckers, divine feminine. Then masculine did it. He did it. He walked away from something he could have been building with somebody, a choice and a lover, okay? Yeah, eight of cups. Not wish fulfillment, bitch. <laughs> you probably discovered this yourself, feminine, at first. Like, no, nah. no. Nah. Hold on, but somebody kept trying to. It was a distorted feminine energy that kept using sex magic, ace of wands, sex stuff to try to hold on to somebody for a pentacles. Okay. So that somebody would either walk away from divine feminine or wouldn't walk away from them. Okay. Keeping them stuck. Yeah. Hang the man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys could have saw these people were losers, man. I'm sorry. The only time I use that that phrase for me is not based on like superficiality. When I use that phrase, it's people who are just low vibrational, and that's all the fuck they know how to be. You know what I'm saying? All they know how to do is scheme and scam and con and suck and fuck and spell cast. Like they don't. That's that's essentially their whole. Yeah, authenticity is not in their their vocabulary. You know what I'm saying? Healing. You know, being a decent person is just like second column, man. This is sad. Yeah, five of pentacles. So you guys look. Yes, you realize that these people were petty and cursed. That they were cursed with the curse. Five of pentacles, like they wanted to try to keep you feeling left out. But the irony is, it's them. They are cursed with the curse. They have a lack mentality. Okay greedy, envious, jealous, and you guys, five of pentacles, you, you saw that these people were toxic, the devil, chained, look how these two people are chained, you realize that these motherfuckers were chained to addictions and habits, they were chained to this 3D, money, fucking, hoeing, buying shit, spell, word, bitch, anything to get some tiny chips, motherfucker, like, like, they were, you guys saw, like, no, nah, these people were there's something wrong with <laughs> You guys discovered that some of these motherfuckers were narcissists. The king of swords in the reverse. Like, no, it ain't me. Don't give me that shit. You guys are fucking narcs. And not cops. Narcissistic. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, there could be a king of swords that's pissed now. <laughs> what else for the second call? When you, yeah. See, look at the ace of cups. Yeah. You guys realize that these people lacked love or self-esteem with this ace of cups, this water energy. So we have swords, air, earth, water, and fire. We have all the elements here. Okay. Yeah. So when you guys saw that these people, you know, were not capable of love, right? They poured out your cup of love. They always kept trying to leave you out. And essentially that's their end, which is irony to me. It's irony. But they kept trying to make you feel left out because they're envious. It's sad. 
So you guys freed yourself. Like, they got the shit twisted. Unlike them, I ain't got no problem being alone because I know I can co-create with the universe. Eight of Swords, reverse. I'm not codependent on other people's energies to make me feel valid. That's them. <laughs> Boom. Tower. There was a tower too, my father. The Empress barked the tower, bitch. Empress freeing this motherfucker. Look, Empress barked the tower. Boom. Look. Emperor, Empress tower. Eight of swords. Boom. I'm not free to all, bitch. <laughs> I ain't spoke. I ain't confused. And in some cases, the interference. Okay? They couldn't keep you, Divine Feminine, stuck in your head. Right? And trapped. <laughs> Or they couldn't trap you literally because some of these people are so twisted. They were trying to, you know, do some very weird shit that they gonna cry probably the rest of their living days about. Yeah. You guys went on. They couldn't stop you from moving on. Some of you guys moved. Eight of Wands. It's a travel energy. It's fast. It's fire. Some of y'all straight moved like, oh, bye bitches, my fuckers. <laughs> Eight of Wands. I ain't stuck. I ain't stuck. And whole cow, and I ain't stuck in my head. Thank you. Bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not confused. Seven of cups. Yeah. I'm not an option, and I'm not confused. <laughs> you guys saw that these people were trying to cause confusion, that these people were doing confusion spells and head trickery, weirdy shit. Right? So you guys cut it out. Oh, you confused? Let me help you. <laughs> Let me help you understand, bitch. Death. Scorpionic energy. So you guys ended it. These people were constantly trying to create endings for you. You ended them. Ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. That's a whole other video. That one's kind of deep. People don't learn. Last call. They don't learn. Last call. Kept, kept fucking with some of y'all. That supernova came out. They kept at it. Okay. When the fire come out, don't cry now. Don't run and cry now. Ten of swords. Yeah, there were betrayals. You know these motherfuckers were trying to pin you down. For harsh painful endings. You know these motherfuckers were betraying you left and right. That's why you cut their asses out. Like they're envious. They're cursed, and they are going to be cursed for 10 generations plus for fucking with you. <laughs> People don't get it. Well, you want to pin them down for harsh pink lendings because you're envious, you say? Okay. Let's see how this plays out. Wow. Yeah, eight of cups. There it is, water energy. So you all walked away because you knew that shining was your birthright, rising and shining. You followed your intuition. You were not going to stay in things that what? Was not giving you emotional fulfillment. So this reading, you know, it wasn't about you not being friendly. It wasn't about that. It was about these people, whoever these motherfuckers were. Okay. They took kindness for weakness. They didn't value something. They thought you were stupid. Okay, three plus motherfuckers. Okay, you knew that at the heart of all of their fuckery was nothing but a whole big old trough of envy hiding behind their fancy shit. Okay. Yeah, darkness, stuff that people tried to hide from you. People tried to ghost and hide a whole family here. That's a whole family involved. For some of you, bad news, motherfuckers. It was their wish fulfillment. Okay? Group family dynamic. Karmic family that was involved with trying to get somebody to ghost you and keep things hidden from you. And you know it. That intuition card over there, you know it. <laughs> so he's like, okay, they, you want to play the game? You all fry together, bitch. Now watch you all go down together. Because this is how it's going to happen. I'm about to finish. <laughs> Ooh, 
Child. Yeah. And as I said that, look, see, that's that supernova energy again. As I said that, see, this is this is out of the hands of the Lords. This is this otherworldly energy coming in. Like, no nope, judgment. It's done. They didn't fuck up. <laughs> They done fuck up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nine of Swords. Now this is them. But you all walked away because they try to keep you in this energy. They want to fuck with your head. Stress you out, make you burdened and worried and all. It's like, oh, oh you got me misunderstood. Judgment. For fucking with a divine. That was dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Dumb, da da dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> yeah, balance is being restored. Boom. So you guys walked away. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and this earth energy. What you put out, you get back. So the universe steps in and sending this shit back to these motherfuckers. And for you, Divine Feminine, you're getting things restored back to proper order and balance for the injustices. Yeah, you put it into it. Learned your lessons with the world card, okay? Like, no, these are some twisted motherfuckers. They're weird. They're unfair. They're dark. They're toxic. They pretend. They act like they godly. They hide shit. They're envious. They're jealous. They're greedy. They're whores. It was unjust for them to try to cause confusion because they were money hungry, wanted some money. That's what karmics are all about. Stuff. Boom. Six of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So now let's get the final messages. I don't think I'm guided to. Let's see. I don't know if they want me to do anything on the. Because I got Divine Feminine here. Let's see. We got the Six of Pentacles at the end. So let's just do this. Percentage. What should I do? Hold on, guys. The percentage or the month. Maybe they want me to do the month. Percentage. Let's see. Let's see what they do. All right. From the wheel. The pendulum's wheel. Lighting. Higher self. Benevolent high vibe guides here only. Pendulum, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those that this is truly for only, of course, those that are truly the divine feminine in the context of this reading, getting back to the six of pentacles, ending the read for her. Balance being restored for the injustices, getting back the positivity and balance for what was done or what wasn't done based on the envy of these low vibratory thoughts. What month should these divine feminines expect this balance restored with the Six of Pentacles? Something that's going to be brought back to balance that was unjust for her? What month, based on this wheel team? What month, please? High vibe, higher selves only. Please and thank you. What month, based on this wheel, what month? The Six of Pentacles, balance being restored here for a divine feminine. What month? What month? What month? Interesting. What month? Based on this wheel. What month? Ooh, what month? I'm, if you guys could see this, man. What month? Check. For some of you, it's, it kept bouncing between July, August, July, August, July, August. Okay, so maybe something is already in the making happening, and maybe it's going to be like full flourishing August. Now, what that Six of Pentacles is, it's going to be something different for all of you. Okay, for some of you, it may be. For others of you, it can be relationships. It's just whatever is needing to be brought back to balance 
Okay, it could be light. Just, just take it as it resonates. But according to this, the wheel, the pendulum's wheel, it kept bouncing back to July, August, July, August, July, August, July, August, July, August. So that's telling me that's the range. Okay, and we just got in July, so that's you know anytime this month all the way through to the end of August. So you know roughly a month, two months. Okay. And now, with that being said, let me get the final messages. Just want to get three cards, team, so we can be done. And uh, what you, Divine Feminine? You are a friendly, sweet person to these folks, okay? I'm not saying you were perfect, but you were a friendly, sweet, and kind, and you meant well to these people. They had envy in their heart. And that's what was driving these people, whether this was friends, family, competitors in the field, co-workers, bosses, roommates, lovers, these people, no matter how much they tried to hide it. But this is what was driving them to do the fuck of shit that they were doing here. Okay? Stealing, being unloving, treating your cup of love like it didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Trying to cause confusion. Trying to get rid of you. Only people full of envy is going to operate. I'm sorry. And I don't care if they got money pooping out their ass. Don't mean shit. Probably stole that shit. <laughs> Con, they went into that shit, bitch. Divine feminine transformation. Things are changing for you. They've been changing. So this is powerful at a cellular level. There's deep healing. You guys are in the cash. Mm -hmm. There's that roll energy again. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep saying like, man. So these folks, boy, they're gonna learn. Lemire, oh, some of y'all got Lemurian roots. Oh, creating heaven on earth. So your spirit guides are helping you to create your own heaven on, on earth after dealing with these aliens. <laughs> these envious aliens. <laughs> oh, shit. You call in your real family now. Soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. You guys call in your real family to step in. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you guys said yes to the path and to the journey. This is why you're supported. And you're birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world. And said, oh, oh, And as I looked up, it had a, it has 11 in the room. Oh. Ooh, you guys are awakening. Energetic upgrades told you, told y'all a new way of being and integration. But see, this triggers these people. So you guys probably had to learn, like, you got to walk away. Because people like that will bring you down. You have to walk away. Now, I do want to say, in some cases, there are situations where a dynamic changes. Okay, not everybody has to be, like, cold turkey, no contact. You know, um, you have to evaluate the level of toxicity for yourself. In some cases, it's a change of dynamic. You have to, like, have a healthier boundary, know who to trust with what. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this person, I know they ain't good for shit. So I ain't finna play the game, bitch. I ain't finna sing the same song, bitch. I ain't finna tell them shit because I know this motherfucker got problems. Soon as they hang up with me, shit, before they hang up, bitch, it's gonna already be. <laughs> they already texting and on the phone with the motherfuckers. I ain't telling them shit. Like learning, for some, it's about learning like where to put people in your life. You know, they're, you know, a gossipy backbiter, you know, 
and they're not too toxic for you, I mean, you have to figure this out. Me, I'm cutting shit left and right. But if that, you know, it's not that bad, well, you know that, okay, when they're in that energy, you don't want to be around them. You're not going to sit around it. You're not going to participate in it. You're not certainly not going to tell them anything because, you know, they loose mouth Sally. Okay. So take that, you know, in balance. A pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You're the oracle. I told you. I told you. Some of you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, getting grounded. Some of you are empaths. So you're either guided to or you've been getting in nature to ground and clear your energy. Connecting with earth, the trees, ancestors here. Yeah, to help clear your energy. Ooh, yeah, y'all, y'all done been doing some serious work all in the chakras. Because my eyes are guided to like the light points that are like sticking out in the middle. You guys may not be able to see it, but you may have been highlighting the upper chakras, like past the crown up here and then the throat and then earth, right? Earth star chakras. So that's just powerful. You guys are grounding in your connection to source. You're manifesting, speaking your truth. You're bringing something in. This is some powerful shit. The hell? <clears throat> Look. Because y'all some old souls, divine feminine. You didn't been around around lifetime. You're a powerful bitch. The age of light, you've been training. So this, it seemed like you just been training. No, you just forgot. But your soul. <laughs> your soul, though, you see. Been trained for this. That's why some of y'all coming in with some whoop ass, some supernova shit. Now it's like, oh, bitch. Give it to me. Y'all calling that energy like, woof. I want to access my divinity, the benefit of my soul's journeys here, and let's merge this shit, woof, creating a supernova. Wow. People don't expect it, though. Right? They didn't see it coming. Divine Feminine, you learned how to trust the niggle. <laughs> the niggle. If you have it, you're being guided to continue to learn. Okay. What the needle feeling is telling you, this was a part of the path, learning to trust your needles. <laughs> because sometimes things don't make sense in the physicality in the 3D. Sometimes we don't have all of the, the 3D, the traditional language centers of the brain proves that would make something make sense. But learning how to trust the needle is could be life altering and could actually save your life in some cases. Because this whole 3D is an illusion and there are professional masters of illusion. And if you don't learn how to tap into that, you can keep walking into traps because it looks this way, it sounds this way, then it must be this way. Not always. Some of that should come with a big old cup of poison in that bitch. When they was cooking toggles and skitty and motherfucking cakes and bitch. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything ain't always quite as it seems. But the body is sophisticated. The soul is sophisticated. And we almost have to relearn how to tap into those needles. It's some uncomfortable shit because I'm shit off, bitch. But the conditioning has caused a lot of us to feel like it was us. But see, that was the whole point. No, you're being too sensitive. No, you all are toxic and have been toxic for generation and generation. And you don't want to fucking deal with it. You're abusers and you hide it. Go around torment motherfuckers and then go buy a ball gown and shit. And the car. Oh, I gave him a car. You still tormented the motherfucker, so save it to this. Save it. It's called abuse of power. 
It's called communal narcissism. <laughs> You're still an abuse of hope. So we ain't doing that. And let me just say, for the record, this is something, Divine Feminine, you had to learn. Or maybe you're still learning it. People being stressed out, my dear, is not an excuse for abuse. That's what abusers say because they don't want to be held accountable here. When the, the dynamic of Ike and Tina, before she was ready to deal with that herself, before she was ready, she would sit with her friends and actually make excuses. She would have her nose bleeding, embarrassed in public places, or sitting in a room with a friend with her head on the swallow, saying things like, he's just stressed out. He's just stressed. If, if I can just see how she took on the responsibility of his toxic ass. That wasn't her problem because people don't know how to manage their stress. It's called go to the fucking doctor and get a clue. Learn how to deal with your shit. Learn how to balance your energy properly. So don't, don't swallow that. That's a part of the brainwashing and the conditioning that you could have been reared in. And used to those highs and lows. I was just stressing. Oh, no, no, stop crying, Toots. Stop crying because I'm not going to make you feel better for you being toxic. You need to sit with it and take full responsibility of it. Uh, uh, no, I just, you know, I just stress. Who the fuck ain't? See, this is where I'm going. Who the fuck ain't? Divine Feminine, some of you all had weights on you that half of these people couldn't handle if they were paid to. They would have been in a cuckoo, one flew over the cuckoo's nest a long time ago. So stress ain't no damn excuse. I was upset. Who the fuck that would be getting upset? See, all these, these are excuses. I was stressed. I was upset, but uh, you know, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, you don't want to face the truth and deal with you. And as long, just like with Ike and Tina, you know, I use that as an extreme case, but as long as she was doing that, I mean, that was her prerogative, that was her choice, man. It was her choice. Anytime if her friends were to try to do anything and intervene, it wasn't going to work. Okay, until she got there for herself and realized, like, uh, I shouldn't have to live my life on eggshells and scared. I shouldn't have to get my ass whooped every time I have <laughs> every time I have an opinion that Ike does not agree with. That's toxic. Y'all. For most of you divine feminines, you already figured this out. Okay, this is why the six of pentacles is now here for you and balance is being restored because something was on fire. You caught a clue and got the hell out of there, man. Okay, you're birthing your happiness here. I'm, I'm happy to see this. Your vibration is rising. This is what's necessary. These are some low vibratory thoughts that was bringing you down. Your vibration is rising. You're birthing a new age. Okay. You've been training for this shit. You're rewriting the contracts, releasing soul patterns, contracts on past lives. Yeah. Some of y'all went in. You went into the Akash. You went in with the ancestors and said, we got to do yeah. this. This is ancestry here. And everybody want to cover it up with a prayer and barbecue, bitch. We ain't doing that. We're going to deal with this. This is done. But the only way for this to be done, I'm going to call out the fuckery. We're going to clear it. We're going to rewrite it. We're changing the name of the game. But we ain't playing this. 
We ain't gonna put it on no pedestal, no abusers. That's done. Come down. Go somewhere in here. Because we gonna expose this is gonna happen in this lifetime, my brothers. <laughs> we ain't doing that. This is gonna clear the lineages that divine feminines were born into to do that those that were before her didn't fully finish and they handed her the badat. And as I said that, the Council of Light. Divine Feminine connected. She worked with the Council of Light. She's in the Akashic Records. This is why it's ill-advised for these fuckers. <laughs> Divine orchestration. Helpers in the subtle realms. Otherworldly. This is why it's ill-advised for these weirdos and the shit they be doing, man. But they'll find out. Some of them, they already have. Alright, guys. So, what you? You're plenty friendly. If you want to get a good laugh and enjoy the rest of your 4th of July, and if you're into that movie, I recommend watching Be Dazzled. Brendan Fraser it may give you a good laugh, but watch it with an intention of just kind of filling into it, seeing how it connects to your story here that led you to your path to healing and self-worth where you were like this mousy, you know, trying to fit in groups and shit. My fuck was as raggedy as fuck. They didn't even deserve your damn attention, bitch. Okay? Because the people that he was fighting so hard to want to fit in, if you looked at these characters, they were not just jerks. Yet, he was trying so hard to like, oh, oh, you know, and because he was a nerd and fucking, you know what I'm saying? Until he's, you know, he got some backbone, he stood up, you know, standing tall and shit. Let that bass hit his voice and realize that he didn't need now one of them motherfuckers and that he can knock them the fuck out if they want to come to the left. And that he would have every right to do so because he has a right to defend himself and not stand there and let somebody bully him. Right? That's y'all, okay? I love y'all, those of you that are here on Love and Light and Positivity. And I will be uploading this. Chances are tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to stay on top of it because I'm still behind. But uh, to my YouTube platform so y'all can go back and look at it. Um, yeah, so if you're not subscribed, you can go over there if you feel guided. Click on the um, YouTube icon and the bio section will take you there. Hit notifications once you subscribe, yada, yada. You guys will know when I go live there. You'll know when I upload, when I premiere and do things there as well. Okay? Be safe out there tonight. If it's not night already where you are, if you're going to go in the fireworks and all that good old stuff. But congratulations, Divine Feminine. Celebrate your independence, right? Independence from envious motherfuckers that was doing nothing but trying to hold you down. And hold you back, right? All right. Don't let nobody get you down. That's the lesson. You walk away from them kind of folks. I swear, man, my my cool exits, my dramatic exit, 